All right, real quick, we're going to show you what a certificate of survey looks like. And this is going to be the most important part of your land buying experience. Do not buy property without either having a survey on file or having the seller obtain a survey for you for numerous reasons. One, to accurately know what your boundaries are for your property and two, taxes. Um, there could be transfer taxes, there could be all kinds of stuff. You do not want your survey um, being outdated or anything because you need something when you purchase your land that says this is exactly what I'm buying and it is a legal document. So this is my survey for the property I just bought which included a house and I thought this would be a good tutorial because this property I bought I bought 10 acres of the original 40 but the 10 acres I bought included the structures so quickly looking at this um, this is your survey and I have modified this one to take out you know, the seal and the stamps and the signatures and all that. Um, but real quick, just to give you kind of an idea, this was a, well, my brush isn't working here, but this here was the old total of 40.2 acres. I am buying this right here, which includes, stand by, let me go ahead and change my color. So now we got our color right, I mean, I'm back. Okay, so let's do this again. So you can see. Okay, so 40 acres to the 10 that I'm purchasing. So the seller had to go out and resurvey this because for tax reasons, I'm not going to be paying for 40 acres. I'll be paying for 10 plus the structure. Okay, so they had to go out and do a new survey. And looking at this, here is, I have from here. to here, to here, to here, okay? This little space right here is actually easement for the road, which happens to be up here. Um, there's another road over here, as you can see. So this survey is relatively easy. So the most important part of this is the feet for each boundary and the next most important part is the bearings at which this line this boundary line goes from point to point okay so each one of these will have a bearing and a distance so you'll set up here you go this direction, this bearing, this distance, and it'll get you to the next point and all the way around. Now, looking at this, you know, they'll they'll tell you they'll have a little legend here, bound corner, set or reroute, you know, set a rod, basically means they put on a marker, and this is where they put their line. Okay, so dot dot dot. Now, nothing was found here, so they had to go and set all this because originally it was a much larger parcel. So, some other information you may need to know for when you're looking up county records. This is your section number, your township number, and your range number. Um, these are pretty standard. You'll just go to the county and say, I'm in section 28, township 14 north and range 9 west and you will get a plat map of that section that range and you may not be the only property within that so you'll have to then look at you know the other information here and see your property um, you can also look down here this gives you how they did their GPS okay so the bearings here, all right, is degrees 
minutes and seconds. And I'll do another video later on that will explain those. And I'll even show you how to use the survey in Google Earth to give you a much clearer idea of what you're buying. So before you buy, see if there's a survey, get a copy of the full survey, and do your due diligence and your research.